Hello, my name's Joe and welcome to the third and final part of the Illustrator training series. From the previous video, you should be at the point where you can add a cut line to a design. Now that's great because it's a really easy and basic way to add cut lines to print and cut files. However, at this point, we're going to want to just try and improve it slightly. All machines have a natural cut tolerance. Whether you've got a Roland BN20 or a Mamaki CJV, the cut tolerance is natural at 0.2 millimeters, which means your machine could miss cut by 0.2 millimeters left, right, up or down. This is completely normal and the best way to avoid this happening is using a cut bleed. Now in Adobe Illustrator, there's a really great way to add cut bleeds because it allows you to increase the file size. So to do this, we're going to select the part of the file that we want. In this case, we're going to use the green outline of the Express logo here. Firstly, select the part of the logo that you want to increase the size of. Then go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. You can do this by any value. In this scenario, I'm just going to do 0.5 millimeters, and I'm going to click OK. This has added a bigger outline here. If I zoom in, you should be able to see where the outline begins and where it ends. In and out. We're going to select the inside at this point, and we can then use the same method as we did before. So we're going to copy and paste the inside line. We're then going to use the Pathfinder tool to make it one section, like that. We're going to make it no fill by pressing X to change it to your fill. Press X again to change it to the stroke and add your cut contour outline. Put that in the center of the image and change your outline to 0.1 millimeter stroke thickness. You can see now that has added our cut line to the inside of the image. As I say, this gets rid of that 0.2 millimeter cut tolerance by cutting just slightly inside of where you've printed. The exact same rules apply to text. So if we select all the text here, go to object, path, offset path, and do that by whatever value you like, 0.5 millimeters will work perfectly fine. Press OK. Right click, ungroup, so I can select the central areas of all the text. Now the most important thing to note here is that you don't have any letters overlapping. I think this S and this T is okay, but if we just zoom in slightly, we can see it's okay, but if that green was to have gone inside the inside blue line of the S, then we would have seen that on the print and it wouldn't have looked very good. So just make sure that no, nothing's overlapping when you add your, um, your path offset. But now we have all of the inside selected, we can then use the cut contour tool, left click to add our cut line and change that to 0.1 millimeters again. And now we can see our cut lines are slightly on the inside of all of the text and the artwork here. Really important that you learn and get used to doing this. It makes your life so much easier because A, you're not gonna have any sort of failed weeding. It's much, much less likely to happen. And any machine discrepancy has been eliminated as well. It just overall improves your productivity on a machine and it's well worth get into grips and learning how to do this. So if you need any further assistance on this, please go to expresstechnical.co.uk where we can give you a further hand with anything you need.